Well, good morning. So, a bit, bit of a rescue mission today before the snow comes in. We've got a trailer that broke. I know, I don't have tire pressure sensors. Okay, so we got a trailer that broke. It's a 24 foot ATC trailer. It's probably got 400,000 miles on it. And where the uh, rear gate assists, like for an enclosed trailer, where they wind back up, that broke. So I'm going to get my trailer, my single car enclosed, and I'm gonna help him out. It's a buddy of mine, partner of mine, could you say? Don't see much of him. He, uh, we do a lot of work together. Uh, he just lives three hours away from me. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, he texted me this morning asking about the trailer. We're storing the Mustang in it right now, but uh, I'm gonna go unload the Mustang, put it in the garage, and then we will um, we'll hook up and bring it back. And I think he's gonna send one of his guys down to me to pick it up. But why I got bibs on? It's not that cold, but it is. So we're supposed to get some pretty nasty weather. So I'm hurrying up to get out there and get back before it gets too bad today. Well, first snowflakes are falling. Let me see what time it is. It is uh, 10 28. So for me, this will probably be the only bad part of the trip is getting up over the mountain. It might not even be snowing on the other side, like down where my parents live. But when I came through here the other day, it was snowing. They only expected like a, a coating to one inch. And there was six inches of snow on top of the mountain. And as soon as you got down the other side, there was zero snow. So we'll get up over this. They did have the roads all pre-treated from all the way from our house to here. So it's just starting to come down pretty good. And uh, a couple of my buddies are out uh, a little, would be a little west, northwest of here kind of. And uh, he said he was sitting there just uh, waiting to get loaded. And within 30 minutes, there was like two inches of snow on the ground. So coming down pretty hard there. And this is just another two minutes up the road from the last clip. Climb the mountain here. And once you get to on top of the mountain here, that's when things usually start to uh, deteriorate pretty quickly. So we are sitting on top of the mountain now. It's coming down pretty good. I do love this truck. She's a little beat up. She's got 175,000 miles on her, but man, do I love this truck. down to five miles an hour well, we're getting ready to come down the other side if you see that seven and a half percent grade and one and a half miles I told you now the snow's melting on my windshield now since we're going so slow it's not just deflecting off so can I get out and beat my wipers off I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I don't know if I've seen it snow this hard here in town in a while. We're barely moving. We're at a crawl, but we're almost to the bottom. I have no idea what's going on up here. The only thing I keep watching is there's a semi behind me, two cars back with a dry van. So I keep taking a look in my mirror to see if he starts sliding. I don't really have an exit. So let me see if I can clear the windshield enough. See the flashing lights down there? But this is how, like the whole truck is covered in snow because I'm not moving at all. First 15 minutes of a snowstorm and we already have an accident.
Oh, not as bad on this side of the mountain, but still snowing. Got the rescue trailer all hooked up. Well, made it back to the house. She ain't too bad. This trailer's probably got two or 300,000 miles on it. The 07 model, and I paid $4,500 for this trailer, and it has been awesome for me. But, there's a big trailer. We are going to uh, see what the next step in this uh, rescue mission is. So, you know what you really gotta do when you work outside in the dark? Get yourself one of these beanies. Have a light in it. Game changer. See, we can just put our head up like this and we have our own built-in, oh, look at this. We've got our own built-in light. So what we're doing is we're actually waiting for our buddy to pull in. Um, we're gonna take the car out of his trailer, put it in my trailer, and then he's gonna leave his trailer with me till he can get it later in this week. Cause he's just passing through. He's actually um, coming through Maryland to head to Rhode Island. So he should be here any second. I have no idea what kind of car he's got in the trailer. If it runs or not, we'll figure that out. All right, well, we don't have much light, but hold on, getting us some more, some more light here. All right, got this, got his trailer hooked up to the truck. It's a 24 foot ATC, probably, we were talking, it's probably got 400,000 miles on it. In the rear, can you see? how it's split up there that's what's holding the springs for the spring assist so you couldn't even get the uh the gate open or closed with one person so he dropped it off to me taking his truck and uh we will uh we'll get this one fixed up